Hello, everyone. I am Zhao Chuan. Today, let's draw the head of Pachycephalosaurus. The overall head of Pachycephalosaurus was shaped like a triangle, featured with its iconic raised dome-like head. Its eyes should be drawn a little forward. Its muzzle was small, and it had teeth inside its mouth. In addition, when drawing, we should pay attention to the complex bulge structures on the top of its head, face, and lower jaw. We start with its eyes. Its eyes were round with some folds above and below. It had some large bulge structures atop its eyes. These structures extended backward and became short horn-like structures that formed the margin of the rear half of its head top. Meanwhile, they projected forward to constitute the edges of the front half of its head top. On top of its nose, there were also some short horn-like structures. On the nose, there were some short, bulge structures. It had a small beak in front of its mouth, above which were its nostrils. The opening of its nostrils was facing forward. Its mouth was large, and the corners of the mouth extended backward. On the jugal bones, there were three triangular horn-like structures. Further backward, we draw some small scales and connect them to the raised structures on the top edge of the head that we have just finished. Most of the teeth in its mouth were wrapped by lips and could not be seen from the outside, but a few teeth would be exposed on each side of the front end. On the back of its lower jaw, there was also a set of horny structures. At the roots of these structures, we draw some large scales. 
Now, let us draw its iconic raised dome atop its head. This dome projected upward from the part between its eyes and nose. We outline it first and draw some textures to show its hardness. In addition, some large scales were located near the front of its face. These scales were mainly pentagons, or hexagons arranged randomly. Good, like this, we finished drawing the head of Pachycephalosaurus.